Hi, water signs. We are here for you. Um, this is going to be a reading for the water signs. So we're going to do Cancer. We're going to do Scorpio. We're going to do Pisces. I will include the timestamps in the comments so they are easy to access. I hope that everybody's doing well. Before we get started with the first sign, we're going to do Cancer first. I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highs good. Okay, so Cancer, for some of you, what I'm seeing is that there may be something that you're doing where you're trying to you're trying to figure out what compensation is going to look like for you. So this can be something where Let's say that you have a job or that you run your own business and you're like trying to maybe figure out prices right now or you could be figuring out like how much to ask for a raise if you're working for a company or you could be like if I'm going to do that job like how much do I need to be compensated in order for that to be worth it to me you know like how do I make a living off of this okay things like this this is what I'm seeing for you cancer. For some of you also, there's something going on within your friend group or a question about connecting or reconnecting with someone, who I'm also seeing. All right. We're starting off with the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is an opportunity that one can really do anything with. So it's, it's great because it's a door that's opening for you. But you may have to let go of something else in order to grab onto this. Maybe something unnecessary. You may not have seen it as unnecessary, though. I feel like that's a bit cryptic. Okay. Interesting. So we're skipping a step here. We're going right from the Ace of Pentacles not the ace of pentacles okay this can be like a material manifestation of something we're going right from the ace of wands to the three of wands so this may be like a sped up opportunity it's like a door that opens and you like completely bypass that middle room and you end up completely on the other side of this this can also be an opportunity that you feel is going to be coming in the future as well Ooh, for some of you this is connected with somebody you might feel like you get to really jump ahead here. I'm seeing a lot of fire with all the wands here. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Something here about a connection, but I'm seeing something burn out really fast. Like, it's like the opportunity came in. Things ended up progressing very, very quickly. Then it, like, somehow speeds up even more. And then it's, like, crashing and burning here. Cancer. So this went from, we can go anywhere with this, like you never know where this could lead to then feeling again like you kind of skipped a step here because I'm not seeing the two of wands. So maybe you felt even in a way like you didn't make a decision or that you didn't have a decision. Just, I feel like it's more important like what's missing rather than what's here. And that may be something that is for some reason becoming more important to you about how you're perceiving this situation and then one to three again is sped up and then you go three to eight and so it just feels like driving very 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 quickly and then things crashing and burning so you could have been like momentum speed like we're really gonna go somewhere and then all of a sudden like everything comes to a screeching halt cancer Things were really picking up there. It feels like this energy feels like you're just climaxing the whole time. And like as soon as you get to the top, the whole thing just ends there. Like you don't even go down. It just completely cuts off. For some of you, I'm seeing this have to do with a connection. I'm seeing the Ace of Cups. Someone or something that you were connecting with. I'm seeing a, a, a lot of like yellow golden light energy here. 
gold is seen as being a, a divine color. Gold, yellow with the sun. This card actually does have just like, I don't know if you guys can see it. This is gold back there and then the yellow here. The sun comes out right after the ending. This Ten of Swords, this cycle ending, may have felt like by ending this, it allowed you to kind of regain or like reinstate your happiness or your optimism. This feels like a very quick bounce back. Maybe you feel like you skipped processing a little bit. Because it, it seems very interesting to have the sun come out directly after the Ten of Swords. So you may be in a spot where you're like, what? I'm fine. But maybe you didn't process something yet fully. Could have also made it just very clear to you, like, hey, this situation is not for me. And maybe that's what the sun is about. Like, the sun can also be an illumination or a realization about something that maybe you finally feel like you have clarity that you did not have before or you did not feel you had before. Yeah, I'm seeing you walk away from something because you don't feel like it's enough as far as, like, cancer. You connect emotionally on such a deep level and you are such a natural nurturer and caretaker. And so you may have felt like you could really hold space for this situation. And this situation or this person could not meet you at the levels that you could go. And that may have like now dawned on you like, oh, this needed to end so I can actually find something that's going to bring me true fulfillment and happiness. I get the feeling like you may not have been completely surprised by this, but it may still be like overwhelming to kind of be in this space of realization. It's like the sun feels very, very bright, like almost a bit lurid. Yeah, I'm seeing you still feel weighed down by the past. Now, now I feel like you're sinking into this, oh, now I'm starting to process. It's like this thing happened and you just pop up. Like I get this vibe like SpongeBob, like popping up from his situation, like maybe being really optimistic about this, like, oh, I'm fine, like everything's fine. But then it's like, oh, now I'm starting to feel like slow down. I'm starting to feel way down here. I'm like having those memories of this person pop up now. So it's like, first you thought that you were going to like run away from this thing and be like, I'm fine. I'm free. Like all of this stuff. But then I'm seeing you get like weighed down and weighed down and weighed down. So it does feel like you may have like popped up from this and been like, no, I didn't even get hurt, you know, like brush yourself off and start walking. But then I'm, I'm seeing something sort of catching up with you here, which makes sense. But initially when it happened, like, you know, when somebody goes through a traumatic experience and then they act as if like everything's fine, like it seems like one of those moments where you could have acted like everything was fine. You could have even thought everything was fine. And then it ends up like hitting you three days later. Yeah, I'm seeing you like having memories of this person. For some of you, like intimate moments that you're remembering with them or that you shared with them. Move it along. I definitely am like seeing intimate moments with you and this person. You could have felt like this person was really a, a contender for, um, I don't know, maybe you felt like in the past things had been more of what you wanted with this person, but I'm seeing like it was even stressful in the past, but maybe it was something that you weren't remembering and now something has just come to light that it's like never actually really been easy with this person. And I, I think too, like this ending has made you realize that like you and this person may have never sh like shared the same values 
or the ones that maybe you did share some of the same values but the ones that really mattered to you in a connection the ones that like weighed the most may have been the ones that you didn't share with this person or that they weren't able to come through in that way because this is like ending because of a lack of reciprocity with you and this person so it's like this is to have a situation end an ending be associated with the six of pentacles this is someone where you feel like there's not the type of equality that you need within a relationship to feel like you're actually working with a partner it would feel like an offset so you wouldn't feel like a teammate with this person and it's because they show up differently than you do and that's not to say like this person isn't like good bad or anything like this this has nothing to do with that there's like no value it's just incompatibility here and that's really the thing and I'm seeing like it's always it seems like it's always been like that but you may have not realized that it was always like that with this person like nostalgia could have really gotten the best to you the best of you where you were like oh I just remember the good times I don't really remember like all of the hard times or like maybe they weren't that bad you know I'm hearing something about like whitewashing but I'm seeing it more in a space where you could have just been remembering like more of the like nostalgic nice things that were like pleasant between you two but then this thing has kind of like woken you up to realizing like oh it was never actually really that easy with this person it was always stressful it always feel felt like we were forcing something that wasn't actually working and that can be like a hard feeling to accept as well, you know, especially when you care for somebody, which you clearly do, you know. Um, and this person has like been in your life enough for them to feel like a major chapter. You could have been trying to... Yeah, I'm seeing you definitely still care for this person. You could have been trying to sort of make yourself smaller or less needy. It's like maybe you saw yourself as having any sort of needs as being needy and could have tried to, I don't know, like make them smaller to sort of fit in this situation. To try to make it work. Because I'm th seeing things sort of like come back around with this person, but I'm seeing it just feel challenging. Like I'm not really seeing anything look easy here. As far as like the practicality of this. I'm seeing something here about returning to past values. Maybe what matters to you within a relationship. I'm seeing there be a really big focus on self-love here. For sure. Like I'm seeing you offering that to yourself. And you're coming out as the Queen of Cups here. So you're definitely like in your element and your energy here, Cancer. Okay, something was not making sense before, now it is making sense to you. This is like a confusing situation that now you have the clarity you needed. It looks like it all started with self-love, like that's where all of this starts. Because once you get in the space of doing that for yourself, it seems like it elucidated something about the situation with you and this person. I'm getting like very much a feeling of unfinished business with them where you may have still felt like a lot of past memories and a lot of nostalgia and a lot of connection still with this person from the past and something has now been cleared up that was unclear before. There was something still that felt like very unfinished business with this person that is now finally finished business. Something coming full circle. I'm seeing the High Priestess here. You could have guessed at that. Like, somebody could have predicted this. Um, for those of you that are connected... Yeah, here you are, Cancer. Look. You coming out in your own energy. I'm seeing some Leo energy here, too. I'm also seeing some Scorpio. 
But we close out this with you here. Yeah, I'm seeing this wasn't an easy situation. I'm seeing a lot of stuff emotionally that needed to be processed through. Like, I'm seeing just a very unclear situation that you had to... You had to sail through a lot of fog to get to the the clear, cleared out space. And it seemed like a longer fog than usual, where it was just very hard to see exactly what was going on. Especially emotionally. A lot needed to be concluded and worked through and processed here. But I'm definitely seeing your guys be like, look at you coming out of this situation. Like, look how strong you look. Like, I'm definitely getting your guys are so proud of you for how you move through this situation, for sure. I'm also seeing you have sort of been working on, like, surrendering to situations as well. So... This, it just seems like you really gave like 110% through this cycle. And I'm seeing your guides definitely be like clapping for you here as you went through this. I'm seeing like an opportunity kind of like landed on your doorstep. It was something where you felt like, hey, maybe perfect for this. I'm seeing something that felt very challenging. I'm seeing your love for yourself being challenged. You may have felt like your love for this person and like how deeply that ran was challenged. I'm seeing you like go back into something from your past. I'm seeing something come full circle emotionally where something that had been a confusing and a confusing situation that lacked closure and then I'm seeing there be that switch up where something something just makes sense now for you that wasn't making sense or you understand something or whatever that was before that felt unclear it is now clear for you I'm seeing an ending I'm seeing you be like it needed to happen this way because this is what aligns with where I'm going now and I wasn't going to really have reciprocity within this situation. And so this allowed me to be more clear on my values. I have such a better understanding for my relationship with this person and this process that I've been going through. And then you come out in your own energy, like really strongly in your own energy. And to also have Leo here too, this was like a testament to you really showing up and expressing yourself and not making yourself small, but really like allowing yourself to be seen and to be heard and like making that motion. So I'm seeing like a lot of big personal character development here, which is really amazing to see. So amazing job, Cancer. With that being said, we are going to end the reading here and we are going to shift next into Scorpio. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have going on for you. I hope that everybody's doing well. All right, I'm seeing you getting into something here. This is something that looks like a right fit for you. It could be like struggling with confidence or maybe like doubting yourself a little bit, Scorpio. Maybe you feel a little bit off kilter. Ooh. Ace of Cups. Scorpio is connecting with somebody. Ace of Cups can also be you getting more familiar with yourself, your abilities too, what you can do, your personal power. Your self-love. I'm seeing you out here trying to figure out what's going to bring you happiness too. So there can be a reflection on your pursuit of happiness. I'm seeing your guides kind of give you something, but you may be feeling a little bit suspicious of this. Like I'm seeing you kind of walking past a, a threshold and something is appearing in front of you and you're like am i really seeing this clearly i'm seeing a moment like that for you scorpio 
where you could be questioning maybe like the validity of something. Maybe you feel like you need to test it out, right? That is the beauty of Scorpio. You want to prove it, prove it for yourself, validate it for yourself. Not going to take anybody's word. You want to see it, see the proof. You have a decision to make. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. Your guides are coming down trying to help you. It's like you're out here taking your little um, like test here and your guides are whispering the answers to you. I'm seeing that whatever choice this is that you need to make, you're going to make the right ones. I'm telling you, your guides are coming down and being like, Scorpio, this is the answer. So whatever karmic test this is that you're going through, listen to your guides. They're giving you all of the answers. If you're talking to your guides, you want to ask the question, state your intention, and get quiet enough to hear it, listen, observe it. The answer will be there for you, for sure. You may shock everybody. I'm seeing you on stage, right, Scorpio? And, like, everybody in the crowd knows the lines. Like, you've been practicing the lines for, like, three weeks. And then they put you on stage. You're in the middle of it. And then you end up saying, like, the complete opposite of the lines that you were given. I'm seeing everybody be shocked here. You, like, say the complete opposite of what everybody thought you were going to say. Nobody expected this at all. You're not even you. Maybe you surprised yourself here with something. I'm seeing you be in a space where you're like, I'm not going to pretend to like that if I don't. Like, you're not trying to please anybody here. I'm seeing you be in a space where you're like, if that's not good enough for me, it's not good enough for me. If I'm not into that, I'm not into that. But maybe everybody thought that maybe you would go for something and you're like, no, I actually don't want to because that's genuinely how you feel. Like, I'm not seeing you be faking anything. Like, who is the realist? You know it's going to be Scorpio. And I'm seeing you, like, really trust your instinct here. Really trust your instinct. It may be something that looks good, maybe. I don't know. Maybe everybody else thinks it looks good, and you're like, I don't know about that. You have your reasons. But I'm seeing you definitely... You could have, like, kept everybody guessing until this last minute here. Yeah, look at you. It seems, too, like the moment you do this, everybody's like, oh. It's like you revealed something to them that they weren't seeing. Like, you gave the crowd the answer here. By you being like, no, that really doesn't resonate with me. I'm not taking it, you know? Like, denying access. Maybe you turned something down, dismissed something. It's like nobody else, nobody else could, like, spot that this was a, a fake and you're the only one that was like, I don't know about that. That's what this this energy that was coming through where it's like you cross this threshold. I'm seeing you like literally coming out of this is the vision that I'm getting. I'm seeing you coming out of this cave. Like maybe you were in hermit mode thinking about something. So you come out and I'm seeing you like exit the threshold of this cave and something is in front of you out there and I'm seeing you like really checking this thing out and to everybody else they could have thought that this was something and you're like I think that's counterfeit and I'm seeing you be like I need to find out for myself and you like pause you're thinking about it you know that you're gonna need to come up with like a conclusion and then you're like no nah, I'm not into it like somebody could have been trying to connect with you and you could have been like I don't think so I'm seeing you, you are seeing things so clearly here, so don't question that. If you turn something down and you were like, maybe I was wrong to turn it down, no, you weren't. Like, you got the Ace of Swords here. Like, your vision is crystal clear. Like, your third eye is completely open here within this situation. I'm seeing you very, very connected with your intuition. I'm seeing you, you listen to how you were feeling inside. 
You may not have logical reasons for this. You're paying attention to how you're feeling and that's what you're going with. I'm seeing this be a super strong move on your end and super aligned for you as well. Ooh, you may have seen somebody's character very clearly in the space that they were in. Somebody could have been maybe a bit trying to like pull the wool over your eyes or they were like, I'm just seeing you be able to undress somebody energetically and they may not have, they may have never seen somebody do this before. It's like maybe they didn't know about your x-ray vision. You were like keeping that in your back pocket. I'm seeing you then like you do what you need to do and then you like go off and go back to your friends. Again, it feels like you were called on stage to do something. You like wowed everybody and then you're like, okay, bye guys. And then you like jump back off stage. You saw something very, very clearly, very, very clearly. And it seems like it's associated with somebody that was maybe coming through trying to interact with you. And maybe everybody was like, oh, is Scorpio going to go for it? Or are you going to go for it? And again, at the last minute, you're like, no, I'm not going to. But everybody thought that you were going to. You could have not liked what this person was doing. Like, maybe you felt like they had a bit of a, I don't know, some agenda that didn't align with you. Yeah, I'm seeing, like, clarity, you going off of your instinct. For some of you, you had somebody coming through saying that they were going to help you, but I'm seeing this person be super inconsistent with you and you're like, what are you going to help me with? Like, it's very weird how this person was coming through with you. I'm seeing them actually, it's like you're trying to solve something and this person comes through and they're like, oh, I can help you solve that. And I'm actually seeing them just like create more chaos. I'm getting something about Amelia Bedelia. That's funny. Um... Yeah, maybe you just had somebody and you, like, called their bluff. I'm seeing you actually walk away from this person. You're like, I don't need this in and out. Like, you felt like this person was just double-dutching with you. And I'm seeing you be like, that's not, that's not what I need here. I'm seeing you just really not be into this person's behavior. Let's say this, too, because I'm getting a very clear picture for some of you. You had somebody coming through that, like, you had a genuine, have, had, have, it, energy doesn't disappear, right? You know, it's not destroyed nor created. There's somebody that you genuinely connected with and you saw that clearly, but you also saw their behavior very clearly. And that could have been the thing that threw you off here. You could have been like, you know what, if this person were coming through in a more mature energy, we do have that genuine connection, but because of their behavior... This is just not something that I want to deal with. And I'm seeing you see, I'm hearing something about you saw this person's karmic um, footprint. It feels like a carbon footprint, but I'm seeing it be like a karmic footprint, like a blueprint of maybe their energy and where they were going. I'm seeing you be very, very excellent when it comes to reading people's energies and being able to play the tape to the end and know where that's going to go for you. And I'm seeing you not be interested in their storyline. I'm getting something about a fruit roll up here. I'm just seeing their, like this person may not be able to realize the, the circular motion of their energy, meaning they don't even understand the karmic loops that they're in. And I'm seeing you rolled all of that out. It's like, I'm seeing actually a whole film roll here and I'm seeing like all of these tapes of this person and their energy that you watched and then you come back into real time and this person is coming through being like, hey, Scorpio, what's up? And you're like, nah, I'm good. I'm seeing you actually move away from this whole situation. The thing is that there was like genuinely pure potential that you had with this person, but the way that they were showing up, I'm seeing you not be into this at all. You also kind of feel like this person's like karmic energy, they're sort of like in the middle of something too. And I'm seeing you not be into that. In the past, this could have been something that you'd go for. Like maybe you wouldn't have minded how they were, but I'm just seeing you be in a different spot now. And you're like, why do I want that in my life? 
you would have found this person's energy to be disruptive. Again, like I'm seeing you had had have a connection with this person. It was very, very clear. I'm hearing it was clear in sight. It was very clear that you had a connection with this person. Very, very genuine. I'm hearing something about the fountain of youth. You had a clear, clear connection with this person, like on all levels. However, solely basing what was going on off of their behavior, I'm seeing you were very, very turned off by something. Very turned off by something. You could have really felt like this person was not, like, dedicated, not loyal. Could have felt like they would get distracted by something shiny. Because I'm seeing you just, like, not be about it. Like, you saw something and you were like, you don't need to show me that again. That's, like, that's enough. It's like you're watching the films of everything playing out and you're like, stop it right there. Stop it right there. I don't need to watch the rest of it. And I'm seeing you be like, I'm out of here. So... That's the end of that. I'm seeing you definitely like avoided a bit of a roller coaster here with this person. So good on you. It didn't resonate with you and you walked away because you knew that it didn't. And I'm seeing your guides be like, so you saw that. You saw that clearly. <sighs> yeah. I'm seeing you've been making a lot of, Scorpio, I'm seeing you've been making a lot of decisions lately that have felt just like... Like, you really be feeling like an adult lately. Like, I've been making all these tough choices, but I know I need to do it for, like, my quality of life. You know, stuff like that. Where I feel like maybe when you were younger, you would have entertained certain things, and now you're just in a space where you're like, I don't want my life to be like that, you know? Like, you're reaching for something different now. And achieving it, too. So I'm seeing like a lot of tough decisions that you've been making lately, but it's worth it to you because this is about like the quality of the life that you're living and also the vibration you're on. And this person, they're not at your level, you know, and you don't need to waste your time doing something like that because I'm getting too like you could be with this person. I'm hearing something about training the monkey like you could really just feel like if you were to be with this person that... It just is not somebody that feels like an equal to you in that way. And I'm seeing you like really looking for something deep here and not need to be coaching somebody through something, you know? Like you want somebody on your level and something about what this person was doing or what the, I get like something was revealed to you that you were like, again, I've seen enough and I don't, I'm not about that. So I'm seeing you walk away from this not compromising so it is what it is i'm seeing jupiter here that's it i'm not seeing any zodiac signs um so we will leave it there scorpio i want to thank all of you guys for connecting thank you for tuning in and we will get into pisces reading now Hi Pisces, I hope that you're all doing well. Gonna see what's going on for you guys. I'm seeing, I'm seeing there be a path that you are walking down. I'm seeing it be intriguing to you currently. Okay feel like a little bit of an overlap already with the Scorpio reading. So I'm seeing the Knight of Wands. I'm seeing the, the Eight of Swords here. This feels like something, like you see something or something pops up and you're like, I don't know what to do with that yet. I'm still processing. Like, maybe you don't want to judge something yet. But you may just have, like, a feeling. But maybe it's something that you're not ready to be, like, concluding yet. Maybe it's something that you don't want to conclude yet. Maybe something you don't want to admit to. 
seeing you like sweating over this a little bit, Pisces. Oof. Heavy. Five of Cups. Pisces, Pisces. You can feel sad about the way that something went. You can feel disappointed. Could be in a moment where you feel like biting your nails a little bit. Maybe regret something. But more than anything, it feels like there was some sort of missed opportunity or something where... I don't know. There's like such a focus maybe on everything that went wrong. Maybe you just need time to process too. Like it's important not to bypass the five of cups when we hit it, which is that feeling of, oh, I feel really let down. I feel really sad. I feel nostalgic in this moment. Like thinking about all of what could be, even though it's good not to get stuck there forever and always, it's good to recognize when you're in that place, you know, because it's part of the process. And when you fully allow yourself to be in this space where you're like, I am sad, I am really disappointed, I did want this to go a different way, it allows you to process through and to continue moving on. But if you don't let yourself have this, you're never going to fully move on. So you're just letting yourself have, have this moment right now. I'm seeing you be like, I'm not ready to like turn around and face face the future yet. I just need like a couple more moments to look over everything that just happened. It feels like this catching up moment of I just need to run through this like one more time and then I can turn around and keep keep walking, keep moving. I'm seeing like a hair net here. Are you having your hair tied back or like something in your hair? Like, you could be doing, like, a self-care day or something like that. I am seeing an, upco an upcoming conversation that's going to be happening. Seems like you needed to do something for yourself, for your own, like, emotional energy. And you showing up for yourself emotionally. Sorry, if you see me touching my nose. My nose itches sometimes when I channel... We've been getting that a bit. This feels really, really heavy, Pisces. It feels like a really deep moment of... This can be like really deep sorrow that you're feeling... Um, it can be like sadness, it can be disappointment, you know, it's all of those feelings that are very heavy to carry and very heavy to hold. You're not going to be in this spot for a long time, but I'm seeing this feel super, super intense when you're going through it. Like it feels like a very, very, a very, very real moment emotionally for you where you feel like totally present in like the depth of everything that you're feeling right now. The interesting thing is that this is guiding you back on track. I'm seeing I'm seeing Aquarius here. I'm hearing Aquarian brother. That may be a specific message. Aquarian brother um that does feel like a specific message you could have felt like you saw a light at the end of the tunnel and then something got cut off because this feels like feeling really blue, processing something, like being in a tough spot where there's like a low that you're feeling. This is like feeling really stressed out, feeling like this is very heavy. Like that's a lot to hold emotionally. This is a moment where you're like, it's hard being a water sign. Like wherever Pisces is in your chart, I'm just feeling this feel very, very heavy for you like your heart dropping all the way into your stomach maybe all the way down to your feet it's like one of those deep moments that you're having this can also be like a dream of yours that you were like I wanted it to be this way or like my dream my vision of it was like to be like this but to have the ten of swords you may feel like 
you finally like have that vision in sight and then everything just comes to an end like just like that in that moment it's like you see how it all could be and then just ten of swords happens which is almost like that thing getting ripped out of your hands you could be dealing with an Aquarius you could have Aquarius placements Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing you be in a spot where you could have thought that something would, like, bring you a lot of happiness. But Ten of Cups is coming out upside down. So maybe something wasn't, like, all it was cracked up to be. Or it, like, didn't meet your expectations of how you thought. How you thought it would be. I'm seeing things get, like, turned really upside down here. For some of you, I'm seeing, um, like, family have to do with this, too. I'm hearing participants... But I'm also seeing you be in a space where you're like, I need to think logically about this as well. It does feel like like a dream coming to an end of yours. Um, but maybe it feels like a, a door that's closing, which means inevitably another door is going to be opening for you. interesting this is actually pisces i'm i'm seeing a mirroring to the cancer reading actually here we had the ten of swords and the six of pentacles in the same spot in the cancer reading something may have needed to end because of or there could have been a question as to whether or not something was going to end because of like equality within a connection meaning this situation could have had you get like more clear on what your values are especially within a particular type of relationship and in order for those standards to be met you may have realized something needs to come to an end in order for me to ever have the hope of having these things fulfilled within a relationship This feels not just emotionally taxing, but also mentally taxing, too. It really does feel like you thought something was going to... Like, Ten of Cups being reversed, like, you really could have thought that something was, like, your pursuit of happiness or it was really going to bring happiness. But then I'm seeing things, like, really go in, like, the opposite direction. Like, I thought that this was going to be it, or I thought that this was going to... Like, be my ten of cups, you know? Like, be that thing for me. But then there's, like, this doubt that pops up where it's, like, went in the wrong direction. Maybe it would feel like... Yeah, I'm seeing your guides be like, what... The best thing to focus on right now is self-regulating. Because I'm seeing you just go through a real hard time here. This is leading you out into a new beginning. Um, but you may be like, oh, I can't even think about that right now. As you're going through this. Ooh. Your guides want you to reconnect with your intuition. For those of you that do spiritual practices, you're going to be getting back into your spiritual practices. I'm seeing you like need to reconnect again with the High Priestess. So if you had been getting away from that, you're going to come back to your spiritual practices. Um, those of you that do like spiritual maintenance, um, self-care, healing, um, anything like mystical divination, stuff like that, um, cleansing, all of that stuff. I'm seeing you like you're going to be coming back to the, the stuff that helps you feel connected to yourself, to spirit, all of that stuff. I'm seeing that be part of your grounding practices too. Like, you may have some sort of ritual that helps you feel like you ground and connect with yourself and your sense of direction um, to feel out what's going on.
It seems like it's going to help you process. How is this? It's going to help you process the change. I'm seeing Scorpio, the moon, and Aquarius here. You are going somewhere, but it... This is a moment where it is going to be super, super important that you surrender to the changes that are happening. But I'm seeing you be in a moment where you're like, we'll get to that. I may not be ready for that yet. Like you're going to be surrendering to flow, but you may be like, I still need to be in my feelings for a little bit before I do that. Because I'm seeing a lot of changes, a lot of I thought it was going to be like this and it ended up being like that. I feel like I got really turned around here within this situation. I really got my hopes up also and now I feel like they completely went in a different direction than I thought we were going to be going in. Um, I feel really stressed out. I also feel like I really need to take the time to regulate. I need to reorient myself. I need to get connected with my with the bigger picture of my vision, of my dreams, of my direction, of my purpose, of my mission. And then I need to make a choice here. I'm seeing the high priestess be here. So other people may not know that you're going to be making this decision. You may not be sharing that with other people. Um, also to have the high priestess here too. It says like you already know what choice to make. And with the ten of swords too. it Something is going to be coming to an end. Because that is the only way. That you are going to find yourself in a balanced situation. It's kind of like whatever interaction this was that you'd been in, there was a lack of reciprocity. And for any hope of you achieving that reciprocity that you're looking for, something needs to come to an end. I'm hearing and that much is clear. And then I'm seeing... Um, I'm hearing transport. I'm also hearing robot. I'm hearing robotics with the death card. I'm seeing that there is going to be like a huge, huge transition. I'm hearing enter the void, entering the void. There's going to be a really big shift that you're entering into. But as I said before, we start off with you in a space where you're like, I need to feel my feelings a little bit longer before I surrender to this whole thing. So... Give yourself the time you need to process and pick up your stuff and carry on. Whatever this liminal space is that you're going to find yourself in, I'm not seeing that you're going to be in that for a long time. Like, this is not going to be a long transition. This is not going to be a long, like, ego death that you're going to go through. It's not going to be a long change or process for you I'm seeing it's actually going to happen very very quickly it's like the moment that you surrender you get like sucked out of the situation that you're in it ends up being a very short trip and then you're on the other side of it like immediately so it's going to be like a short change that's happening a short transition a short evolution here for you it's going to be intense but I'm seeing it's not going to take too long whatever that means right all right, Pisces, we are going to leave the reading here. Ooh, six of wands. Yeah, and here's cancer also. Um, six of wands in the chariot shows you, like, successfully overcoming the challenging circumstances that you've been facing, coming out on the other side of it. I'm hearing with your head held high, so. Yeah, look at you. I'm seeing your guides really riding for you hard here also. Okay, we are really going to end it here. Pisces, anybody else who has stayed for all of the readings, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. Love and light and healing to all of you guys, and hopefully I will catch you next time.